talk about being part of this world. Um, it's finally happening tonight. It's finally happening. This is a lifetime dream of mine. When I moved to Los Angeles, I said one of my life goals was to get a chance to meet David Lynch, yeah. let alone to work with him. It's been a dream. And uh, I feel like the opportunity to see him and work uh, even a small amount on set with him was like getting to peek behind um, the curtain of The Wizard of Oz. And then instead of turning knobs and tubes, he was actually doing even more magical stuff than he was doing in front of the curtain. That's the best way I can describe it. I don't know how else to say, like, he is everything that you could hope for and more. He's a, he's a brilliant human being. What, what do you feel like to, to, to have finish and have this now as part of your filmography year? Put this on my red. You know, you keep checking and making sure. Did I get invited to the event? Did I get to come? Do I get to be here? Um, one of the greatest achievements of my life, uh, artistically and personally. He really is someone that has set a standard of uh, the kind of storytelling that I love, and so to get to be a part of it uh, in any way is just such an honor. I know we can't give anything away, but in terms of just the feel and the tone, if you can just put into words what people can expect. It is so absolutely perfectly Twin Peaksy. Is that is that it's yeah. a, it's, it's its own adjective, right? Right. And and adverb and uh, you know noun. I mean, it is its own thing. And he and on. Yeah. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. Pleasure, Thanks, man. It was great. <laughs>
Grayson, you moved it this way because you're right over there. I mean, how familiar is it? You look lovely. Talk about, you've been working with David for many years. Mm -hmm. How much did you know that this was going to come back eventually? Were there any inkling? Were there little murmurs throughout the years that you heard from him or out there that you knew that someday this would No, happen? I remember being on stage with Mark Frost and uh, listening to him lie through his teeth that nothing was going to happen and believing him. Yeah. And that's really all I can say. And what was that initial call or email like, that, that whatever, however that came to you knowing this was really going to happen again? Uh, I guess, you know, at that point, it really was kind of a reaction of, uh, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. You know, and then, it, you remember how it went that it's, it was going to happen, it was going to happen, and then, no, it's not going to happen right. because things are not being met, you know, to, and so we went through back and forth again, and I, I don't quite, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, it, it, uh, I'm not quite sure when it really became real. I guess I was shooting. Okay, when you were there and things were rolling. And yeah. Uh, it well, in action if you, if you know what? It's happening. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. It is. And the palpable excitement that you must realize, if not, or at least now, that this is really taking place out there. What does that feel like as an actress knowing you're part of something that's special for this show? It's really good. It's really, really good to be part of something that's this. <coughs> Culturally important mm -hmm. and artistically important. Describe your relationship with David. What you we find we, special in each other that, that keeps it going for this many decades. Yeah, we talk about tools. Yeah. Wood, tools, woodworking. Uh huh. So you guys play on that level. We have a really deep relationship. <laughs> it works, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations. Craig. Thank have you. Fun Looking forward. How you doing? Ben, Adam, Bush. Right. Yes, Talk about being part of this thing, and what can you tell me about how you're part of this? Uh, well, yeah, obviously nothing. Uh, it's sort of, uh, that's the general idea. But, um, I don't know. We were sort of uh, delighted to be invited into the, the civil world, really. Yes, I suppose. Put into, into words, though, what the world was like to be in that world as, as a performer, as an entertainer. When you're actually there in a, in a, in a lynching world, what's that feeling like? Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I was obsessed with him since I was little kid, you know, yeah. and this, uh, so to sort of be anywhere near it was a very intoxicating thing, really. And to sort of get to watch him do his thing, he's such a humble, wonderful creature he is. Yeah, um, yeah that's really, uh, I think, all I'm allowed to talk about, isn't it? Yes, stuff like that. What do you think, <laughs> old fans, new fans, what do you think the feeling's going to be, though, after they sit through an episode of this or two? What, what do you hope they feel after watching this? Oh, man. Well, you just hope it's... Uh, yeah, sort of uh, stays true to what it was in the beginning, I guess, and sort of uh, you know, maybe even go somewhere new. I suppose that um, I don't know. He's never put a foot wrong though, so it's uh, fairly confident it'll be a yeah wonderful little uh, adventure. Yeah, cool. Right. Well, real pleasure. Thank you, mate. Have fun Cheers. Yeah. Fuck Middleton. Nice, nice to meet you. Hi, Adam. This is my wife, Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa Hi, Middleton. Talk about being a part of this thing. Just how special it is to be in this world. Well, uh, I don't know. What do you think, honey? I think that, uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's thrilling. And, uh, you know, as an actor, you, you're always uh, looking to dig into the most interesting material and enter the most um, wonderful imaginary world. And, you know, I think it's uh, just about every actor uh, worth his salt has had an ambition to work with David. Yeah. And uh, especially visit Twin Peaks. And uh, as I was saying before, uh, I don't, um, I always kind of had an ambition, certainly had an ambition to work with David and uh, kind of thought perhaps it might be in the cards someday, but just never thought it would be Twin Peaks. And wow, I couldn't have been more thrilled. I couldn't, that's sort of like icing on the cake, right. you know, yeah. How exciting is this tonight now that it's real and you're going to be watching this with maybe some of the actors you work with? I know you can't tell us who you're seeing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, sitting here with the whole bunch. Well, you know, I, I mean, I only know my stuff, right. which I can't speak about, but uh, 
you know, I'm uh, a fan and a participant, so I'm going to be discovering it for the first time too. So I'm excited to see it. Yeah. And what, yeah. what do you hope audiences well, take away after watching say, this is going to air Monday? They've seen the first episode. <laughs> well, what do you hope I, I hope they love it as much as they did the last time. And uh, I think this, uh, uh, this incarnation is especially exciting because I think uh, David and Mark Frost wrote all 18 episodes and David directed them all. So that's got to be, that's got to be really, really wonderful, you know. So, and I hope that uh, people uh, love it and experience it as much, if not more, than uh, and it has the kind of impact it had the first time, you know. So, yeah. All right, great time. Real pleasure okay. talking to you. Yeah. Bye bye. Good you. Have yes, I've been lucky enough. Yeah. This is time number two. Time so number two. yeah. What was it like to reunite? How, how did you know this was ever going to happen? Put in words how this all kind of came about for you. A, a phone call. And do you want to be in the new Twin Peaks? I was like, really? Because I watched this in college. I'm obsessed with Twin Peaks. So I was thrilled. And then seeing him on set, it had been 20 years since I did Mulholland Drive. Uh -huh. Felt like two minutes ago. Wow. And he's well, amazing. Years since Drive. I think so. That's a milestone. I know. I shouldn't say. Actually, let's go 18. Okay. We're going to go 18 years. Yeah, wow. so it was pretty amazing. The whole experience was great. I mean, I, I love him. What yeah. was it like being in that Twin Peaks world? Was it everything you imagined? When you were there and you see those Twin peaks things around you, if you can kind of put that into words, because none of us get to do that. I can't, I can't put anything into words, but I can just tell you the experience of doing this was yeah. amazing. That's right. like, we're so limited with what we can talk about, gotcha. but being involved in this is great. Right. Yeah. Now sharing this tonight with oh. probably some of the people that you work with. This is incredible. Yeah. I mean, this is unbelievable. Look at this carpet and the, tr I, I, I'm, I'm in heaven. I'm so psyched. You've worked with some great directors. You're always doing great. I things. have, I have. I'm really lucky. Yeah. I'm very lucky. How do you top something like this, though? What's you don't. This is it. I'm done. I'm retiring. So, yeah. good luck. Good luck. Great. Pleasure talking Take to you. Take care, yeah. man. Seconds. I do want to talk to you. They would love to talk to you as well. Oh. They would three. Yeah, they would skirt on the. I <laughs> like so these cameras. They're, they're high. There we go. Yeah, like, there we go. They make oh, everyone think it's great. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. Wow. What do you want to know? Right. I want to know the question. Oh. You good, Doug? I didn't know you want me closer? Like the best. I mean, oh. just the joy for you to be part of this this world yeah, and what it was like for you when you're actually I mean, putting this uh, together. I am really lucky to be in a David Lynch uh, production. Lynch. And I've been uh, done a lot. I've worked with a lot of great people, sure. and he's, uh, you know, I just can't wait to see it. Um, it's been over a year, I think, since we shot it, since I did my part. Right. And, uh, you know, I'm, you know, I've seen a few little trailers. Yeah. Well, they're kind of hypnotic and a little un, it's un, it's unsettling. unsettling. Yeah, it just makes you kind of. There's kind of a feeling of what's yeah, going to happen, a little feeling like, yeah, of dread, right. like, you know, they're, they're, and the music and everything. Yeah, right, you know, right. I've just seen trailers. Yeah. I've seen what everyone else has seen. Was so, it unsettling when you were doing it, or was it a different mood and no, feel when you were there? No, it's okay. put together, yeah, yeah. you know, the little trailers that yeah, they've sure, posted. Sure. Um, so I'm very excited. <laughs> and, the, and the excitement level out there amongst fans and amongst people that don't know what to expect, that must feel good as an actress knowing that people are really it, waiting for this. They're really waiting for us and uh, for this, and it's, it's got a big buzz. It really has. And uh, I can't wait to, you know, I, I'm not, I don't subscribe to uh, cable. Yeah. But I think I need to because I'm going to want to watch all 18 episodes. So you better get it quick. Yeah. I better get it quick. Yeah. Well, I'm going to go to some people's house on, on Sunday and, and watch it. Watch it, yeah. So, yeah. Good for you. All right. A little well, party. Congratulations, yeah. All right. Thank Pleasure you. Pleasure talking to you. Yeah. Okay.
I know I'm not always bringing the mic to me, but I'm not on camera for this. So. Tell me if you anything screwy. Hi there. Hey, nice, nice to see, see you. you. Come on down. So we're up and down. Very so, sir, you've done so many different kinds of things, I know. What was it like being part of the Twin Peaks world? Oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was honestly a dream come true for me. I'm such a David Lynch fan. Um, and when I got the call, I just, I couldn't believe it. It was, it was awesome. He's amazing. I mean, we all know this, but right, yeah. Right. <laughs> What, can you, what do you hope people take away from this, the fans of the original show? What do you hope, after watching Sunday Night, people are thinking, feeling from this new Twin Peaks? I hope people are, you know, the expectations live up, which I know they will, and people are going to be so excited to go back to Twin Peaks and, you know, see the same old characters that they love. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. How do you hope people look at you after seeing this? Now that you're part of the Twin Peaks world, does this change your, your filmography, your repertoire, now that you're a David Lynch Twin Peaks person? Maybe people think I'm cool now. I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> sure, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Yeah. How you doing? So far, so good. It's early. Looking good. Hi there. Hang on. Denise. Nice to see you. Adam. Robert. Yes, Robert. Talk about being part of this. And I know there's little bits and things that come out about your character and your role, and there's probably more than you can even say tonight, but true. <laughs> but just the joy of being part of this world, what that was like for you. Oh, this is a big thing. Uh, you know, big things come along only occasionally in life, and this is one of them. And working with a guy... David Lynch, who, you know, uh, has hired me more than once. I always credit a guy who hired me more than once as uh, with having good taste. So, you know, here we are. And and this and this was a couple of years ago that we worked on this. So uh, there we go. It's a uh, finally come. You've had some of the, obviously, the best directors wanting you over the years. What's that like for you as an actor, knowing that the coolest, best directors want to work with Robert you know, Forster? It, it means, uh, you know, you can just go with it. You're not scared to go with it. Uh, you know he know he's at the top of his game, and if he says uh, do it this way, do it slower, do it slower, do it slower, until you say to yourself, God, how much slower can I do it? And then later on, year later, or more than a year later, you realize you were in a dream sequence, and that's why he wanted you to do it slower, Bob. But you just go with it when it's David Lynch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bob, pleasure. Congratulations. Nice to meet you. Thank you so much, Frost. Hi, how are you? Good, real pleasure. Same here. So how, what does this feel like now? That this, this is real, this is happening tonight. Yeah. Your vision is back. 27 years later, um, it's surreal, um, but it's also real. We worked really hard. Uh, we labored for a long time. It took a lot of effort. Hundreds of people contributed to this. And it was really the fans who kept the flames alive all those years that brought us to this moment. So big shout out to them for helping keep the dream alive. And now the dream is here. And the fans are so excited and, and no one really knows what to expect. What's that like for you having pressure, the excitement? You're, you're smiling, so obviously you have something good going on here. But what, what can people really expect from this? You can put that in words. I think they should learn to expect the unexpected. Uh, we, we shocked people the first time around, yeah. caught them by surprise. That's our intent here as well. And uh, if you come in with an open mind and, and your eyes wide open, I think you're going to be in for a treat. How, how much fun was I know it's work, obviously, but how much fun was it for you and David to be with a certain point halfway through the production where you're just like, this is happening again, this, this is a kick? Well, you know, we spent two years writing. We had a blast doing that. And then it started to become real. And we had, like, the greatest college reunion of all time getting the band back together and, and going back in those old locations again up in, in Washington. It was a, a trip that I don't think 
you could ever hope to go on again. It's a once in a lifetime experience. I know that's a big part of your life too, and you have a book, and, and there's a lot going yeah. on for fans to kind of dig into and dive into. How much is this going to stay with you beyond these next few weeks? Well, you know, we've tried to build a world here, and uh, we put a big part of the foundation down the first time, and the book is part of that, the movie's been part of that, the series is going to be a big part of it, and there's more to come. You know, more books, uh, soundtrack. The dream will live on, so uh, this will just be the beginning of it, we hope. Real pleasure. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank yeah. you very much. Got you. How are you? Good. Well, Goliath is a good one. I was on the set with Billy for that for the last go round, and that was Goliath. Oh, really? Yeah. So I was I was there watching watching them work. Oh, out in Santa Monica, so that's awesome. Congratulations on being part of that. Thank you so much. I'm really, really happy. I'm very excited. Talk about being part of this. What can you tell us? Exactly. No one can say anything. It was, you know, it was very special just to be able to be close to David, <laughs> and um, and it was very mysterious. Like everything, I my agents didn't know anything. Like everything they was sent on on text. So they had no idea, no script, no one had any information. Like even, I remember when I went to wardrobe, they weren't allowed to read my scenes. So they just told me to explain them what I was doing and and that's when how they figured it out. Is that part of the fun or is that difficult as an actress to, to make all that work? Well, it was it was a little stressful because it's not my, English is not my, it's not my first language. So you had to learn the things really fast and I wanted to have Obviously, you always want to have more time to prepare, yeah. but at the same time, being directed by him was a dream because yeah. he lets you play and he gives you so much freedom that you are not used to that at the same time. So it's it's really it was strange, but it was magical. It was a very beautiful experience. Yeah. And how excited yeah. are you tonight to be here with maybe some of the cast you haven't met, some people you may have worked with? Exactly, I have, mm, I haven't met almost any, well. I, Couple of ones only. Yeah, yeah. I hope to see them here and celebrate. Yes. Yeah. A pleasure to meet you too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Two pluses. All good. Hi, Cheryl. Pleasure. And this is her son, Shine. Hey, Elijah. Nice pleasure to meet you. Are you in this as well? If she wants. He's, 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 he's where I go. <laughs> All right. You may be, though. We can't say, so we never know. All right. I get it. You're together oh, either way. Oh, he means in it. Oh, in it. No, no, no. All right. No, no, no. no, no, no. Yeah, no. Because you look like a seasoned actor yourself. <laughs> no. Talk about being at such the heart of this. Extra emotional for you to be... Having all this come back to you now and talking to Twin Peaks, this must be a, a big deal in so many ways. Well, the the time factor is strange, you know, that in a way it feels like other lifetimes ago, and yeah. then in another way it just feels like in the blink of an eye, three decades have passed. Or not. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we want, we want, we might not even know if we want. I don't know. Yeah. How much do you know? How much does everyone tell you about how, much, how little they know? Everyone assumes you know even more because you've been such a big part of this. But you may know as little as anyone. How much? How much do you actually know yourself? I think I honestly, I think I know very little yeah. because uh, the way that David works, in my experience of, of working with him, is is very uh, it's very mysterious anyway. So, which is what I love about one of the many things I love about working with him. Yeah. So. I may shoot a scene or I may see a scene on paper that then once I get to set becomes something completely different and then once it gets in the editing room becomes something else completely different. So I'm always surprised at what he does with, you know, 
He's, he's a magician that way. This was this was the part of my life. <laughs> this, so no, it wasn't. It it actually wasn't um, much of my life at all. I was being a mama, and yeah. you know. So this just sort of came out of left field, and it's nice to have it back and people talking to it takes all the old memories come back. It, it's nice to work with this group of people sure. again. That's wonderful to be able to work with all these other artists um, creatively and grow and be challenged and learn and work with kind, generous people is that's that's a great gift. And how much do you love though that the fans love this so much? And there's so much anticipation as an actress. There must be a neat feeling knowing that there's so much excitement around. Well, I, I think it's because of the fans that we're all standing here today. They're the ones that uh, kept that fire lit. So, thank you to them. Yeah. You too. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Oh, you're good. Good a little bit. I want to make sure you're in the light. Great to meet you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for caring about my life. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about being part of this, this world and what, what you can tell us, how exciting it was. Oh, it's, uh, it's been an incredible journey. It's wonderful that we can finally talk about it. You know, we haven't been allowed to speak about this. Do I haven't seen any of it, so I couldn't really talk about it anyway. <laughs> Have you seen nothing at all? Still? I've seen nothing. I don't believe anyone has. Maybe a couple of execs at Showtime, but yeah, none of the actors have seen anything yet. Put in words, what it was actually like to be part of that world? If you can, if you can describe that. Um, it was beyond my wildest dreams because I loved the show. I saw it some years ago and. Just being there and seeing some of the other cast members who I've known from watching on television and just getting to be immersed in that universe was something I can't even explain. And I'm so happy to have been a part of it. I'm going to cherish it forever. What do you think audiences are going to feel, think? I have no clue. I've not seen it. So I'm there with you guys. <laughs> All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. Pleasure. Hi, Adam. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. I just want to hold on to your hand forever. Just, yeah? Just until it's over. Oh, no. Oh, no. You'll make it through. How are you? be that bad. How much fun was it being part of this? Put, put into words what it was like being in this world. It was a dream come true. It was a dream come true. I mean, working with him um, opened things in me that were not open. I don't know. He, um, he, he changed the way that I work and the way that I understand working. And um, I'm forever grateful. Is it hard then to go on to something else a, a year later or are you waiting no, for the next lunch project? it's fun to go on okay. to something else because you've learned new things. And then you can bring those new things to the next thing and I think that that's, yeah, that's really important because it's, you know, never about sitting still. You know? <laughs> what, from what you know and what you've seen, what do you think audiences are going to think, feel, appreciate about this new Twin Peaks? Um, the thoughtfulness. The thoughtfulness, the attention to detail. You know, you just. I'm sure you get that someplace nowadays, but, you know, not in the same way and not with the same, like, peculiar bent that he has. So, you know. Yeah. Pleasure talking to you. Good luck tonight. Have fun. Thank you. Um, well, I'm here. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Adam. Hi, Adam. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Yeah. Pleasure. You look great. Thank you. Talk about being a part of this. I think you can much. I'll say this, that I was nervous going into it because obviously David Lynch is such a legend, yeah. but I had no need to be. He was a super, super sweetheart, a teddy bear, and um, you just trust his vision and you just know that you're safe while you're on set with him. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No need to be nervous for anybody who's working with him in the future. He's amazing. And you know, when you're around legends, you get a little intimidated sometimes, but no need. Well, you're part of that legendary world now. 
Super grateful, yeah. Really happy to be here, and um, there's a lot of great surprises that I know everyone is going to be really happy to see, especially some of the fans who have been around 25 years plus. People are so excited. It's I know. Great. I know. What's it like as an actress knowing there's that much excitement? Must be a neat feeling for you. I mean, yeah, it's just great to again work with such a legend and um, knowing that the work is going to be great and it's going to be timeless and it's going to be you know just represent something amazing. So yeah. And seen and pondered over everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, all good, and um, I can talk about it, I guess, after, but I, when David Lynch tells you to keep your mouth closed, you do it. <laughs> what else you got going on? What, what are you working on now? So I just, um, my TV show just got picked up. I'm playing a superhero in Black Lightning, the first black superhero family on network TV, and my superpower is Thunder, so I'm really, really excited for everyone to see what I'm working on. How cool is that going to be? How big of a deal is that going to be? I just left up front, so I mean, I don't even know if I'm really inside of my body, um, but it's going to be amazing. So yes, for Black Lightning, and it's coming soon, CW 2018. Good, good year too for you. Ah, yeah. yeah. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Adam, Adam how nice are to you? meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. So talk about be being part of this this world. Whatever you can tell us, how great was it to be part of this world? Uh, it's an absolute privilege to be part of this world. Um, I, I'm from Australia and so I was plucked out of there and David called and when David calls you come and uh, it was an amazing experience. It was, uh, it was very chill and very relaxed and it was like a big family but it's a really special thing to be a part of. My guess is if you came all the way from Australia it's more than like a two minute roll. You actually are a big part of this thing. Can you tell me? I, I don't know. I mean no one knows what we're in for you know. I'm just as in the dark as everyone else but I had a blast and the stuff I got to do with David was, uh, was stuff that I'll never forget. It was really special. What do you think audiences are going to take away, appreciate, feel from watching, from what you know and what you've seen? I think, I think the main thing that people will take away from the show is that is David, what David does, what the world that he creates. He sort of gets inside you and shakes you a bit, and uh, and you come out the other side. And I think that's the most special thing to do in in TV and film. Now that you're going to be, no matter what else you've done before and doing after, you're always going to be a Twin Peaks guy as well. Is that cool? And that's good enough for me, you know. Like I, I can, I can. That's good enough for me. <laughs> Thanks, man. Pleasure talking to you. Yeah. Adam, nice to meet Hi, you. Hi, nice to meet you. So, I know you can't tell us much. No. But, but how cool was Sorry. it to be part of this secretive project? It was amazing to be a part of it. And um, it's an experience I'll never forget. So it's something I'll be grateful for for the entirety of my life. And I know now that even though I'm on, uh, you know, maybe in the middle of my career, that even at the end I'll look back at this to be one of the best. You're forever a, a Twin Peaks actor, yeah. no matter what happened before. After. That's one thing that I, I know is true, is that there's something about the Twin Peaks family that's very close and endearing, and, and everybody's compassionate and, and nice, and that they stick together as a family, and so I'm grateful to be a member. And what's it like seeing maybe some actors you may or may not have worked with on the and sharing this experience with others? On the red carpet? Or the black carpet. Well, it's, it's interesting because as I see each person, we talk, but we can't really talk details. Um, not only can't we, we can't share the details of the show with the public, we also can't share it with other people in the show. So it's interesting. You're going to miss that feeling in a few weeks when everyone knows everything? Of course, of course. It'll be a different dynamic, but it'll, it's fun any way you go with Twin Peaks. So. Right, well, congratulations. Thank you. I'm looking forward to it. Hey, Adam, How you doing? nice to meet you. Pleasure. Yeah. Talk about being part of this this world. How cool was it to, to actually be there in the in the Twin Peaks world? Uh, it's effing awesome. Yes, it's it's so cool. Uh, it was it was the kind of thing where uh, you know I grew up kind of idolizing Mr. Lynch. I don't know that I ever called him David. And uh, and then once once I got the job and we got on set, he, he would only talk to me and everybody else in character. It was just it was a be to see that beautiful mind at work in his element. It was just a, a lifetime experience for me. Wow. How, yes. do you, how do you come out of experience like that then when it's so magical like that with a director like that and probably a really cool character like that? It, in, in the year that's, or so that's passed, it must, yes. it, it must be weird looking back at that now and now celebrating it again. It's all downhill from here. Yeah, unfortunately for me, that, that was the top of the mountain. Yeah, that was a peak. I like that was a nice play on words. There you go. Twin there Peaks. You go. What do you hope people can take away from this experience? Or from what you know, from what you see, what you were able to bring to life yourself? Yeah, I, I just hope people enjoy it and that it lives up to expe expectations, and I have no doubt that it will because it's you know it's in the maestro's hands. Yeah. Uh, none of us have seen anything, so we're coming into this totally blind. 
Uh, but yeah, I, I can't wait. You know, I'm not only am I part of it, but I'm a fan too. So it must be extra fun as an actor. Really you is. really was something cool, but you, you honestly don't know what it's going to look like or I be have like. No idea. Yeah, yeah. Just like the rest of us. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, I can't thank wait. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Pleasure. Have fun. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, now we're talking. Hello. <laughs> Come over a little bit in the light here. There we go. Talk about being part of this this world, the Twin Peaks world and Lynch. How great of an experience was this for you? It's, it, it's really uh, fantastic because it's really unique. And it has a universe that has never been uh, imitated or it's impossible because it, it manages to go into the people in unconscious or nightmares or <laughs> in crazy places. And it's amazing to see that today we're still able to see that kind of universe yeah, yeah. and uniqueness. Was there anything you did nightmarish or unsettling? Or? <laughs> How much do you actually know? Do you know a lot? I know nothing. Yeah. There's a hitman in behind, behind no, me. No, no, no. <laughs> the excitement over this is so real and palpable. Everyone's really waiting. What's it like for you as an actor knowing that so many people can't wait to see what this is going to be? Oh, it's really exciting, and I'm the first to be excited because really David Lynch is is uh, like really I don't know what to say is uh, epic, but is uh, is uh, is pre presenting something that is unique most of all nowadays, where originality is not that 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 uh, existing. <laughs> and I'm so pleased that he's he's coming back with Twin Peaks, and that so many people are looking forward to to see that as well. Yeah, and then say it's Monday. We've all seen the first episode. What do you think people are going to be saying, thinking, talking about Monday? They're going to be saying, shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that'll be good. That'll be good. I think All so. Right. Yeah. Real pleasure. Yeah. pleasure. Nice talking to you. Good, man. Yeah. Extra. Good to see you. Extra. How are you? I love That's you really guys. So, Tim Belushi in the world of Twin Peaks. Uh, yes. <laughs> Uh, it's as bizarre as my life has been to be in Twin Peaks. It's, uh, you know, I, I didn't know I was in it. I, I had a, a, a meeting yeah. in the valley. I didn't know what it was for. And I walk in a room and there's two women and a video camera. And I didn't know if I was making a porn film or not. I don't know if my agent was selling me. Uh, right, right. And I just talked for 15 minutes and uh, didn't know what it was for. And three weeks later, my agent told me I was in Twin Peaks. And it was super cool. And to be part of something, you've done obviously a lot of cool work over the years. To be part of something this of the moment right now and this palpable, there's so much excitement over this. Must be a good feeling as an actor. Must be exciting. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. It's fun. You know, David only has people around him that are as cool as he is. I mean, Kyle. I mean, he's the coolest cat ever. Right. Everybody that I work with from. The craft service to the DP, they just all have David's, you know, back. And it's lovely to see people serve something bigger than themselves. And you're not kidding. When you say the craft, the craft service probably really was cool. Cool. And coffee. We had lots of coffee. Yeah, yeah. We can't wait to see what you're doing. Oh, thank really you. looking forward. Thank you. Yeah. There's Kyle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> message for Lisa. Want to grab the mic? Lisa, Lisa, Lisa G, where are you? I haven't seen you for so long. I love you and miss you. And uh, I hope in this next year we see more of each other. God bless you. I miss you, dear. Now it's Twin Peaks. Hey, Van, you a look at you. Good to see you. Hey, guys, with some heights. Yeah, right? Yeah. You're nice and tall. No, I'm getting on the short side, man. Well, it's downhill that. from here. Well, I don't know. You're the, you're the coolest yeah, the looking guy on the carpet part. so far. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Love you. Getting back in this world. How much fun was this for you? Oh, man, you know, I, I have to say I was a little frightened about the whole prospect. When I spoke to David, I said, man, you know, we can get all these people back together and, you know, half of them are going to be deaf, gummy, or blind. He said, no, trust me, it's going to be a great script. And I said, well, man, I will go anywhere you want me to go. And I, I love the character. I just love Big Ed. 
and uh, I get a chance to have these beautiful women in my life. I get to work on cars. Yeah. Good. So it was it was pure joy, man. You know, it's been a long time. You think of 25 years. Right. I mean, that's a, that's like a scientific experiment or something, don't you think? 25 years. I don't know. That's Guinness should be out here, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you think? And the experiment, by all accounts, is going to pay off. Are you are you excited about what the audience are going to think of this? There's so much excitement. Everyone's waiting to see what it's going to yeah. be. Well, I'm excited, yeah. and I'm I'm certain everybody will. I mean, right. it's, it's it's going to be magical when you think about it. You have to stop and think of that 25 years, you know, that's... And David with all these, you know, his, his bold strokes, his, you know, he's uh, so original, you know, so grand, so s striking. Some of his images, you know, I carry with me today yeah. because they're so strong. And I just know that that experience and uh, his storytelling and Mark and you know the, the partnership. It's a really a sweet, strong partnership. And I'm excited to see it. Yeah. Oh, I can't yeah. wait to see what you do in this. Yeah. Thanks.